Samburu. And here they grow uh, a few of them. Uh, if you take care of your land and your fence, they might come more often. And this is a very important tree for the Samburu, uh, especially this this areas that are a bit dry. It doesn't grow in the highlands, but it, it grow, grows in drier places, in the savanna and in the dry land. Uh, firstly, it's a very good feed for the goats. Uh, they eat the leaves. Even when they dry and drop to the ground, they eat them. Even when they green, they will eat them. Uh, again, it has uh, flowers, uh, and the flowers is the, a very good feed for bees. Many actually say that uh, when bees eat from this tree, you get the best uh, honey. It's a clear honey that's very, very, very tasty. And after this one produces flowers, it will produce seeds and even those seeds uh, are eaten by goats even the flower when they drop they are eaten by goats and uh, it's a very strong tree, tree and it has hook hook thorns so when you actually get inside with your with your arm you can you can uh, you can get stuck and the wild animals knows this. So traditionally, this has been the best uh, best trees to fence your boma, your home. So you cut the uh, branches, and then you put all around your boma, especially where you have your animals. So it is a very, very strong uh, material to fence with. Uh, termites do not eat it, so it, it will stay for a long time, and it's very hard. And then uh, animals do not like the hooks, don't like to be stuck. Uh, again, when uh, traditionally when when the fence has been there for a very long time, uh, these uh, sticks they will dry and dry and dry. And when, when they're really dry, it's also a good uh, firewood source, and it burns burns very long because it has that charcoal. So it leaves that uh, warm fire for a long time. And then again, when you go inside the tree, you will get, in a big tree, you will get uh, some sticks from the trunk. And those sticks are very, very strong, whereby they used to make strong sticks for walking. They call serenarok, ceremonial sticks. They also make sticks for for fighting. Uh, so and it can even be that uh, support stick. If you get like a post from it, it can be a support stick in the in the traditional homes. It lasts for a very long time and it's very strong and no time might feel. It's a tree that grows slowly. But uh, it can be bigger than, than, than this one. Although this is a quite a big easy tree. And uh, botanically it's named uh, Acacia. Uh, Acacia mellifera. And, uh, you find it all over in Kenya, especially dry places. Here, where this like a savanna land, they are scattered. You find one and one far and another one far. But when you go to places they call El, Pul El Purkel, the lowlands where, that are dry and doesn't have so much grass, this one are uh, a plant, can be the main trick actually. So that is now the eater tree.